I just got a request for a new video showing how to set up your windows and your heads up display all the stuff that you're looking at on the screen right here and you know I did one about four years ago when I first started making video guides and you know not everything has changed since then but, but quite a bit has I have recently had a complete reset of all of my settings which is still irritating me that I'm having to go back and change little things here and there that uh, were just small things that I did in the past uh, what happened is I was playing EVE and then right before a fight I got blue screen of death and <laughs> evidently it corrupted the memory of my EVE client so I had to start from scratch and do everything again uh, but let's just start talking about some basic things so first of all most important thing about any setup of your windows and your display is your local chat that's pvp 101 is to always have your local chat out and visible at all times you'll see a lot of people do something like this and put it in their directional scan and i think that's a huge mistake because if you have your local in your directional scan and you're scanning you don't see the the 40 pilots that just jumped in or whatever and say you're hunting just one guy and it's just you and him you're down to like 30 degrees on a, uh, a belt or something and you don't see that 40 man fleet that's coming in because you don't have local out if you've got local out you resize it try to keep it relatively out of the way because it's not that important I'm not chatting all the time. It's not that important beyond seeing the members list. You know, so I keep it pretty small and you could go smaller. So the main thing is just to see when this list fills up. And you know, another trick is you select, you click, and then shift click down here somewhere, wherever the last pilot is, select all the pilots, and you'll see whoever the new pilot in, in system is. Can't show you that because no one's here in system with me. Um, so local chat's the first thing you need to have. Have local chat out. The next thing is your chat windows. You can do whatever you want with them. Those are kind of uh, personal. You just select that. That's what I meant. And then if somebody new came in, they'd be unselected. But you have your chat windows like this. You know, I've got Alliance Corp uh, uh, chat channel for me and a couple buddies. You know, same, same. I'm bringing Solo back. Um, so I've got just basic chat channels there. Nothing important. These can even be completely off your screen, you know, closed or or whatever. Those don't affect much. Just if you're going to have them out, have them out of the way. You can make windows pinned and unpinned, which changes their transparency somewhat. So I keep mine pinned usually, a little bit more transparency. Um, this stays about the same. I like to have my drone window over here up on the top I toyed with having it down here for a while and let me explain why the reason why I did that is because early on I learned that in PvP especially early on when I was doing tons of Dramiel and Tyrannus PvP the faster you are the more fights you're gonna win so when it comes down to those interceptor and Dramiel fights it's just a battle of sheer speed in many cases, you know, who's the fastest, if you're fast enough to kill the stuff, fast enough to make the decisions, and, you know, all that stuff is speed. So, when the speed comes into it, it's all about mouse movement, how far do you have to move your mouse to get to the overview, to get to the selected items, to get to the drones, to get to the targets, which is what I'm going to show you in just a second, and how much you have to move your mouse, but not just your mouse, but how much you have to move your eyes. So, you know, you can see... A large section of the screen just by looking at it and then you can kind of see in the side of your vision over here you can see the rest of it directional scan only matters when I'm actively looking at it to see what's on it like the garment that's flying through so that's the only time it matters and I'm looking at that you could make a uh, case for it being over here so that I can monitor this it's true it's just what I've gotten used to so let me do this I'm gonna lock up this uh, customs office here there all right so you see that the customs office is down here so if you were just starting out in the game it would be up here on the top and the way you move it is this thing right here target list anchor 
So, I mean, you could take this as it is and you can move it around. Right? But that doesn't make it stay there. So let's unlock. And then lock it back up. It's going to go back to the anchor. So a lot of people have problems figuring out how to do that because it seems like it never stays. This thing right here is what actually moves it. So if you want it up top, boom, it'll stay up there. If you want it down here, you just drag that little anchor and it stays down here. The reason I have them down here instead of up here is the same as I was just saying. The same reason I have my selected item on the bottom instead of the top, it's eye movement. So I like to have my lock target right here. Let's move it over just a little. Uh, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, so right there where I can see it, I can see all my modules, you know, if I'm overloading stuff, I can see all the overloaded stuff that's overloading the heat, you know, all the stuff with, right here with my shield, my armor, capacitor, uh, my cap booster, whether it's it's loaded or it's reloading. Everything's right in here. This is my hot zone. So like I imagine if somebody did like a uh, an eye tracking map with a PvP or playing EVE, you know, this is where my hot zone is right here, where where I'm looking most of the times right in here with a little bit of this. So it's like dark red here in the uh, the modules and capacitor and stuff and the selected item in the target. That's the dark red, a little bit orange up here, and then it's like yellow up in here and over at local. So my main priority is this area here, which is why I focus on it. I used to actually have my drones over on this side for a very long time, but... I've since moved them to right here, so they're still a little bit closer. I can see them better um, while I'm looking at everything else. So if I see a drone getting damaged, it's easier to see here than it is to see way over here. Uh, if you want to put your drones here, I think that's the optimal way to do it, and that's the way I should do it. Maybe it's not the optimal way, but I think it's my setup would be better if I did. However, with the way things are, I like them up here. Um, just out of habit. It's the same reason why I think uh, you should have your micro warp drive in your F1 slot, usually. But I don't like it there. I like it down here, just for preference. I think I would fly better if I put it up there and got used to it. But I'm not used to it, so I stick with what I'm used to because you know it's such so much ingrained habit and instinct that you know I don't dare try to change it. So that that's the basic thing with this setup is I try to keep everything close together. And as far as the how-to, that was the actual request I've been having. I had a request on the forum for this specifically, and then I've also had several other people in comments and stuff, you know, request and, and ask questions about this. Uh, I don't know much more to tell you except for local, very important, leave it open, leave it big so you can see it. Uh, keep everything close so you have minimized mouse and eye movement. And uh, I can tell you a story, actually, about the, uh, the mouse and the eye movement. And that story is that when I moved to where I'm living now, I didn't have my desktop computer for a long time. So all I had was my laptop, a uh, you know not that great Lenovo, Lenovo. I'm looking right now, Core i3 Intel uh, laptop. Not that great, like a 13 inch screen, 15 inch, something like that. Very small screen compared to what I have now. Right now I've got like a 27-inch uh, a screen or something like that. But what I noticed is when I switched from the laptop to the desktop is my PvP suffered. I was not as good at PvP with a big screen as I was with a small screen. And I, it took a long time for me to realize the reason for that was that it was such a small screen, even though the screen was really cramped and I can't even like describe it to you but basically this see this open area here where you can see actually space on my laptop that was taken up by completely by windows i was playing windows online and not eve online on my laptop for the most part there's very little space in the middle that i could actually use to move around or look at stuff i was everything was so close that i could look at the screen see everything at once move my mouse just a little bit and go from one thing to the other it was very fast because of the smaller size. And I still believe if I were to go back and play EVE on my laptop, that I would be a better PvPer when it comes to really fast things like uh, frigate PvP and uh, nano stuff, where 
little things, quick movements can can make a bigger difference. So that's, that, that illustrates what I'm talking about here for speed and, and being faster. Because the faster you get DPS on target, the more DPS you will do over the course of the fight. Right? The faster you make the decision that you're losing and you start trying to get out, the more likely you're going to survive. The faster you see people landing on grid on your overview, the more likely it is that you're going to be able to react properly and space yourself from them so that you can either kill them or get out. Um, the same thing for local. So speed of being able to see things with your overall situational awareness is going to improve your PvP and your survivability. Um, speed of being able to go from modules to manage your heat keep an eye on your heat while you're keeping an eye on the target's hit points and your hit points. All these things are very important. So now let's get into a couple of the how things. For my drones, I use groups. Most of my groups were wiped out. But you know, there's nothing special. You select them all and you move them to a group. If you don't have a group, you can set a new group and you just move them into whatever group you want to move them into. I wish CCP would give me the option to edit these groups because you see I have some things that are just like a, I did it twice on that one added a space to that one. I just like to clean it up a little. Um, so that's that. It's just nothing big about the drones. Um, let's launch them. Show you that. All right, so that's how I'd leave them through the course of the fight. I wouldn't have EC-300s. Let me get this back in. Got people coming in. and I may want to fight them, so let's cloak up. Looks like a small fleet. All right, I might have to end this video here in a second because those are some ideal targets for me to fight in my Pilgrim. But it's starting to be a little bit too much. This Algos just can put out a lot of DPS. And now we're up to over 10 of them. Well, 10 people in that fleet. Yeah, no thanks. Too much. I could probably pull something off, but... <clears throat> I'm going to finish the video. So, selected item. There's not really much to say about it except where you place it. It comes default up top. I think that's a bad choice. Putting it on the bottom is much better um, for the reasons listed for Overview. I would give you instructions on how to set up your overview and, and do all the overview settings, except if I were to, I would be doing you a disservice because my overview is old-fashioned and my overview is not the best possible overview out there. So... You can import and export overview settings. I've thought many times about giving people my overview. Thinking about trying to catch one of these slower guys. I don't know which one of these two gates they're going to. Let's try that one. Warp drive active. So your overview, what I suggest, look at Eve University look at uh, any other website out there that uh, offers the overview as an as a, um, export. The eForum probably has quite a few really good ones. They've got all kinds of cool overviews out there with color coding and, and all kinds of stuff. My main points on the overview that I'll give you is you should have a PvP overview that doesn't show allies for when you're in fleets. So no allies should show on it, only hostiles and neutrals. I like to have a nav overview so that I can see all the gates and any sino beacons or anything in the system. That's just when I'm moving system to system, often when I'm soloing. I have an everything overview setting that shows everything, and that's if I need to find something or if, uh, hold on a second. Let's just get ourselves a quick kill here. I'm disengaging because there's a lot of other stuff coming in. I probably ought to stay on top of that guy, but he can jump through the gate, I'm pretty sure. So. Let's just keep moving in the rough direction of the sun. 
drag these dudes out. Warp drive active. That's a little too much, so I'm just going to back off. Goodbye. Have a good life. All right, so back to the, the video. Um, everything, when I'm cloaked, it helps me to see what's around me so I don't get uncloaked. Like, say, I'm in a belt or an anomaly sticking up on something. Um, I lost my Valkyries there. That's all right. I'm going to high sec anyway. Scan overview. That's for when I'm using my directional. So let me get out of here safely. Warp drive active. It's tempting to engage that guy. Scan overview, so if I'm like just scanning belts and stuff like that, and that shows me the actual belt I'm scanning. Let's see if I can show you that example now. Not yet, there's not enough separation. I was scanning this anomaly area here. Territory control unit, if you can help it. All right, so there's a belt here. Let's find that one. Where is it? Oh, the sun, that's why I can't see it. So now I can see all the belts that are in 15 degrees, and I can see what's there. So it looks like we got two algoses that are either at the belt or the sun. Good chance they're actually at the sun because most people warp to the sun in PvP when they get scared and they run off. Um, if I wasn't making this video, I probably would have played with these guys before. Maybe get a kill. Uh, maybe died. Who knows? But uh, I don't want to have the video cut short and have to start over. So that's why I have the scan. It shows me what's there, and then you know I say, okay, what's this belt? This belt? This belt? And I'll say, okay, I'm gonna warp to that belt, or I'm warp to the sun, and choose the most probable. So that's what scans for drones. If I'm in a frigate, let's say I'm in a Dramul and I'm engaging a uh, thorax. Um, and the only thing that he has that's hitting me is his drones. I will switch to the drones tab, lock up all of his drones, and then use that. The drones tab only shows drones, nothing else. So that's what that's for. That's the overview I suggest. As long as you have those options on your overview, you're good. But go with someone else's overview because mine's old-fashioned and I'm stubborn and refuse to update it because I'm so used to it like many other things. Beyond that, that's, that's basically your, your heads-up uh, display, your window setup. Um, if you have any questions for things I didn't cover, then please let me know, and I will try to make a video about that. Um, but that's basically how I do it. Um, still staying with the old overview or the old directional scanner. Uh, the new directional scanner has a map button right there, and so I kept opening the map. It was really irritating. I mean, if the, I don't mind them updating it, but at least you know don't move the the placement of the button because yeah, that's. Uh, difficult to break those ingrained habits where I'm constantly clicking over there and all of a sudden now I'm opening the map every time. But that's the video. Let me know if you want, uh, if you have any other requests for things uh, or I didn't explain something well enough um, and I will do my best to answer your question in the comments and if I can't there I'll make a video for it. Mm -hmm.